what up what up what up what up crypto warriors is sergeant crypto back at it again today is tuesday november 27 2018 and i just have a few stories that i wanted to uh bring to you guys on what's happening in the crypto space before i get started let me just say thank you to everyone that's been supporting the channel thank you for smashing the likes uh, please don't forget if you're new around here to smash those likes hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos and also to support the channel please don't forget to get your hardware wallet either a Trezor hardware wallet or a Ledger Nano S um, keep your crypto safe and off these exchanges that's it so let's get into it what crypto winter Nasdaq to launch Bitcoin futures market so according to Bloomberg all right, the world's second largest stock exchange, NASDAQ, is planning to introduce a Bitcoin futures market within the first quarter of 2019. Sources told Bloomberg that the NASDAQ, that NASDAQ has been cooperating with the Commodities and Futures Trading Commission, the CFTC, to receive, receive regulatory approval to operate as a compliant cryptocurrency futures market operator. All right, the report read NASDAQ has been working to satisfy the concerns of the U.S. main swaps regulator, the Community Commodity Futures Trading Commission, before launching the contract. The people said the New York exchange operator, which was first reported to be eyeing Bitcoin futures last year, wants to allow trading in the first quarter of 2019, one of the people said. So I guess, you know, obviously they, they keep saying the people. So anonymous sources are, is giving out this information. However, we've heard, if, especially if, if you have been watching The Gentleman of Crypto, uh, we've heard that, you know, the NASDAQ and, you know, other uh, institutional uh, investment platforms were planning to come into crypto since the beginning of uh, 2018. All right. Um, how will this, you know, what impact will NASDAQ plus back have on Bitcoin? Well, right now, according to this article here coming out of uh, CCN, we know that backed is going to be a, a physical Bitcoin, you know, futures trading platform or, you know, settling in the actual um asset of bitcoin all right at the end of the day you'll you know or at the end of the contracts they'll settle the contracts with bitcoin not just paper trading like how the cftc and the cboe uh do right now and we don't know how nasdaq will if they're going to be doing paper trading or they're going to be actually settled in in physical bitcoins at the end of the day all right but again i guess it, it's good yay or you know eh, it's okay you know uh, for these uh, institutions to be coming into the space more exposure but also me personally I think it's you know with especially with the futures uh, market it's just more manipulation all right but for the SEC to approve the ETFs they need to see that people want these products so yes you know good for this space in the long run Short term, may, maybe not so much. All right, let me know what you guys think. So next we have 10 blockchain fintech firms launch association to make a code of conduct for crypto. So with this one right here, we have 10 companies and basically uh, launching a code of conduct. All right, and it's called, you know, the 10 financial and Tech firms have established an association. Oops, that's my phone. My bad. An association for digital asset markets, aka Adam, to create a code of conduct for crypto for the cryptocurrency sec sector. The launch was announced in the press release today, basically. Now, these you know founding members are basically. Uh, meeting privately and coming up with rules you know on on their own you know will this affect us as the layman or the retail 
investor, so to speak. I I definitely think so. You know, I hope not. I hope that they don't, you know, in formulating these rules, exclude us out of uh, or forget that, you know, the crypto space, you know, didn't have that, couldn't have had that run up in 2017 to 20K without the retail investor. But we know how this all plays out in the long run. You know, I, I could definitely see them coming up with rules saying, hey, you have to be an accredited investor, blah, 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 and keeping us out of the space in the long run. So, you know, um, I'm not too, you know, fond of these kind of secret meetings. And yeah, you know, what are we going to do, right? You know, uh, we just have to play the game and buy the, buy the dip, so to speak and make your dough now before these guys you know make up the rules for themselves that which will only benefit themselves you know you know right now they're saying that the founder members are Mike Novogratz you know which which is good you know it's good to have uh, Mike Novogratz in the room but again uh, you know is he going to be making the rules to benefit us we, we don't know all right, but you know, I like this little blurb here. Rules are fundamental to the development of any market. Over 200 years ago, market leaders came together to draft rules that led to the creation of the New York Stock Exchange. The adv advent of digital asset requires a similar effort, one that will clarify existing rules and give both investors and regulators the confidence necessary to sustain this market. <sighs> Again, you know, over 200 years ago when they came up with the uh, stock exchange or the New York Stock Exchange, only the, the wealthy, all right, w were able to, to participate. So, there, that's just my two cents on, on that. You know, whatever. All right, next. What we have here, we have, uh, once it loads, you know, Coinbase adds support, all right, wallet support for Ethereum Classic. All right, there it is. You know, Coinbase ad, wallet ads support for Ethereum Classic. Um, not so much uh, big news. We knew that it was coming. I actually I already thought that they, they had wallet support. You know, but uh, Coinbase wallet provided by major US crypto, uh, current crypto exchange Coinbase has launched support for Ethereum Classic according to official company blog November 27th. All right, so this just goes into a, what Ethereum Classic is, and you know, basically let us know, hey, it, it was a fork from the original uh, Ethereum, and that now they they have this support for the, the Coinbase wallet and the Coinbase or Ethereum Classic wallet on uh, Coinbase, and um, yeah, and it's going to support Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and over you know the hundred thousand Ethereum uh, ERC twenty tokens, so good for coinbase all right and last but not least earn some dividends man earn some interest on your crypto in the okex all right on okex exchange all right earlier today this this news uh, this story was yesterday out of the ethereum world news all right Earlier today, the cryptocurrency exchange OKEX launched a new value-added service for its users. This new service is known as OK Piggy Bank, and as the name suggests, it allows users to earn daily interest using their spare digital assets. Although initially available for a, to a tester group, the new service can be found in the account tab on the user interface of the trading platform. It will soon be available to all users of the platform. So if you're using OKEX, I definitely suggest that, you know, you use the piggy bank feature, earn some interest. I don't, per, per, personally, I don't use OKEX, but um, yeah, you know, why not? If you could earn interest, why not? You know, it, it's better than, you know, leaving your fiat money in a bank where for the year right for a yearly interest accrued it's only based on uh, 0.001 percent for the year or 0.02 I, I have no idea it, it's basically you know 
crumbs. But even if they're offering what the bank offer yearly on a daily basis, you're, you're already winning. <laughs> okay, so you know, good good on OKEX to you know if you have you know spare cryptos on the exchange. Again, I wouldn't leave my crypto on the exchange, but you know, you you're, sometimes you're not able to send everything to your hardware wallet, and if you have it there on the exchange. Why not let have it earn some interest? Yeah, so right now, you know, at the moment, the new service only supports digital assets available on OKX uh, spot margin trading. This includes the following Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, XRP, Tether, Litecoin, and Ethereum Classic. So again, you know, good news and great on OKEX for providing that to, to their users. So let me know what you guys th think in the comment section below. And again, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to smash that like, hit that subscribe button, and a notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for all the support. It's your boy, Sergeant Crypto, and I'm out. Peace.